So the other day I'm talking to a client and she's telling me how last week with her nutrition, she just completely bombed it. Just the wheels fell off the wagon and it just, it got ugly. And when we got to talk about the reason that everything kind of happened that way is because Thursday night, or Friday night, Saturday night, they had plans, but on Wednesday night, they, uh, her and her husband, they ended up going out to eat and they had a few drinks and they split the dessert. And so her calories got way out of whack. And then Thursday, they ended up, they didn't have anything healthy planned, so they ended up ordering pizza for the kids. And then Friday night, Saturday night, they had two different events that they were attending. So there was some alcohol involved, some sweets, and it just, when you look at the week as a whole, and journaling the food and which she was doing in my fitness pal it just it was a it was a disaster when you had the calories the excess calories over those four days in a row and they got me thinking about something that we now implement a strategy with her and we've worked with clients in the past that we i think that you need to plan out your cheat meals in advance and what i mean by that is if you know that looking at this week, if you know that Friday night and Saturday night are gonna be awful, or you're gonna be consuming alcohol or like sweets and going out to eat and just making poor food choices, then that means you need to tighten up the reins on Monday through Thursday night or Sunday through Thursday night leading up to that. So, and it not only will help you keep your calories under control, but in addition to that, I think with a lot of the foods that we crave or maybe those sweet treats that we wanna reach for, if we're planning out those times where we're gonna be having the junk food, it makes it a heck of a lot easier to resist them earlier in the week. So again, takeaway here, one of the best things that you can do to increase your success over time is to plan out your cheat meals or those times where the wheels are gonna fall off the wagon in advance so that you can tighten the reins up outside of that, uh, outside of those meals, and then ultimately keep things a lot more in balance. So. Good for thought. See ya.